Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can rip audio from almost any video with QuickTime Player in Mac OS X. Now QuickTime Player has a lot of handy functionality that not a lot of people use just because they don't know about it. And if you actually look into QuickTime Player, there's a lot of neat stuff that you can do. And one of the neat features is ripping the audio from pretty much any video. Now the reason I say pretty much is because there are a couple different formats that if QuickTime doesn't support, you won't be able to use, obviously. So, but most file formats are supported, like .mp4, .mov, most things that you would use. There's a couple file formats that aren't supported that you won't be able to rip the audio from, but they're very minor, and chances are you won't be using them anyways. So when I open up this video here, I'm going to want to make sure that I'm opening up with QuickTime Player 10, and not something like QuickTime Player 7, which is the old version. And if you're on an operating system like Leopard that doesn't support QuickTime Player 10, you won't be able to do this unless you have the pro version of QuickTime Player 7. So we're going to open this up, and this is a previous video on Cult of Mac here. Now, of course, I should warn you, you could theoretically use this for piracy, for ripping your own audio tracks from videos, uh, but you know, that is illegal, so you really shouldn't be doing that. Uh, but you know, just, just use it as your own risk. So I'm going to go up here to file and I am going to select export. Now under export you're going to have a lot of different options that you can use for exporting files. So if I look under here you can see that by default it's selected for Mac and PC but you'll see this audio only file option right here and it says compatible with iPod, iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, Mac and PC and that's as simple as it is. And from here I can just name it whatever I want and I'm just going to name it audio from video and I'm going to hit export and now it's going to export to my desktop in this case and it doesn't take long at all and I can quit QuickTime Player and you can see right here I have audio from video and it exports as a .m4a file which if you look is an MPEG4 audio file so it's not an MP3 or anything like that but it's still audio that you can work with and actively use in iTunes or whatever you need and if I preview this file you can see that indeed the audio in it is exactly the same as the audio in the video and that's how it works and it's really as easy as that and I've used this before and it works great and I've never had any problems with it and it's just another easy thing that you can do with QuickTime Player 10 right in Mac OS 10. So there you go there's how you can rip the audio from nearly any video file within QuickTime Player 10. Of course if you have anything that you'd like to see me do a how-to on make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching. Oh, <laughs>